Thank you. Joining us now, former Prime Minister of Haiti, Laurent Lamothe. Um, Mr. PM, it's, it's stunning. It's devastating to watch this. You and I have spent time together in Haiti. Let's talk about where we are now. More than 1,200 people confirmed dead. Knowing the country, knowing the infrastructure, how much higher do you think the number actually is? Well, I think it's going to go much higher because right now there is still people under the rubble. There is still uh, search and rescue happening. There are many villages, coastal villages that are still, uh, you know, that people don't have access to because most of the roads are blocked. So most of the uh, of the rescue effort is being carried out by helicopters. Uh, so there is many areas that are still uh, that where people are still under the rubble. So so I expect that number to go to go much higher because, as as you said earlier, this earthquake is much more stronger than the one that hit in in 2010 and is the fourth actually is the fourth earthquake that Haiti faces because you know we're sitting on a fault line called the Enriqueo Plantain Garden fault line. So is the fourth earthquake one in 1751, one in 1770 one in 2010 and this latest one on Saturday. So it's really a, a, a major catastrophe. Then, then, then put into perspective, give us a comparison where we are now versus where we were then, because that quake in 2010, we were there five years later and five years later, it seemed like things couldn't get worse. How bad are they right now? Well, um, the, it's, it's very, it's extremely bad in terms of, in terms of the quake itself. The only um, the only, I would say, you know, if you can call it a positive news is that it hit more in rural areas, so less densely populated areas. So that's why you see less casualties. Uh, as a reminder, the quake in 2010, you know, we had over 250,000 people dead, 500,000 injured. Um, so so, so the, the level of casualty was higher because of the, the more densely populated Port-au-Prince area and the energy in this quick was released, you know, backwards rather than forward towards Port-au-Prince area. And that's why you see less casualties and you see uh, it's still a tremendous amount of, of casualties. But you see 1,700, 2,000 compared to 250,000 in, in 2010. So that's, that, that's the main difference. Uh, this one hit about 30 miles west of Port-au-Prince and this one, you know, the latest one hit 50 miles further west so so um so this is uh you know it's a, it's, it's a catastrophe anyways of major proportions i would call it after 2010 billions of dollars in humanitarian aid came from other countries came from private support Haiti's not going to get that kind of money this time in part because so much of the money spent people feared didn't get spent to making the country stronger, improving the infrastructure. There's now a tropical storm on the way. You've got political instability following the president's assassination. Given all of this, how bad is this going to be for Haitians? Well, um, hopefully is, it will get, in the short term, it's, it's going to be uh, a very challenging and difficult situation because, as you said, very few countries in the world can deal with so many back-to-back -back catastrophe, losing a president to, to a brazen assassination. Uh, basically, the strongest earthquake in the history of earthquakes in the country, and in the coming days, a storm. So, you know, many few, I mean, very few countries in the world could cope with something like this. So Haiti is going to, you know, it's, it's going to get worse before it gets better. But hopefully uh, the storm will be, you know, with less intensity. That's what we're all hoping. And it's not going to be, it's not going to hit us with the same impact uh, as, as predicted. So this way we'll be able to at least manage and will not hit in the same area. Because right now, not the whole island is hit. It's mostly the southern part of Haiti that's hit by this, uh, by this earthquake. Um, and, but, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's very difficult to describe. It's, you know, it's not an easy situation for any country in the world. It, I mean, the, the greatest country would have difficulties dealing with an assassination of the president, an earthquake and a storm in a one-month period. 